Right now, a week of Pride events is underway in the city beautiful. Time to celebrate love among LGBTQ plus individuals and allies. And it all leads up to the most colorful parade in downtown Orlando. And Come Out with Pride has become one of the biggest Pride festivals in Florida. Joining us this morning, Tatiana Kuroga, who is the executive director of Come Out with Pride Orlando. Thanks for stopping in this morning. Thank you so much for having me. In addition to that, we are actually one of the largest prides in the southeast. Cool. Nice. And the largest single day event in Orlando. That's awesome. So I kind of, you know, bragging rights. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, we're getting ready for this big weekend. So what can yes. people look forward to this year? Yeah, so we are, um, as you said, you know, we are the annual LGBTQ plus pride celebration here in Orlando and in Central Florida. So our festival is all around Lake Yola. We start at 12 and then we've got all day entertainment and three different stages. So that's actually new. It's bigger than last year. Um, and then we've got the most colorful parade, like you said, mm -hmm. at four o'clock. And then after that, we end the incredible day with a fire fireworks show nice. at 930. Now that parade for folks who haven't been, it is absolutely amazing to be going through the streets of downtown yes. Orlando and just you can feel the love yes. coming at you. And this is for everyone. This is for the whole family. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that you bring that up because we actually do have a family zone, which is our rainbow ranch. And then new this year, we also have um, a teen zone, which awesome. was something that we yeah. intentionally created this year, really as a response to legislation that passed. We wanted to make sure that LGBTQ plus youth youth, especially in the trans community, felt like they like this was a place for them also. And, you know, kind of going off of that, why is allyship so important, especially right now? Allyship is absolutely huge, where hence I'm able to brag that we're such a big event. You know, part of that, you know, crowd that we mm -hmm. see last year, we had over 200,000 people come. We know a majority of those folks are actually our allies. And so we really need allies in our community to be able to speak for us in spaces that we're not and be able to um, also share, you know, our experiences with other folks who may not be so familiar. So how do you get ready? You know, how can how can we plan our day around this, you know, <laughs> parking, what to bring, what not to bring? Yes, thank you so much for that question. Um, security has been a really big topic this year. We mm -hmm. found ourselves in a little bit of a different um, climate than we were last year. Feels like every year there's a thing. So yes. last year it was COVID, <laughs> this year it's security, um, you know, hence the world that we live in. And so, uh, you know, the board and I really took, we always take security as like number one, you know, priority. Um, this year, due to several events that happened throughout the country, um, we really beefed up our security. We, we normally have have the entire festival pretty blockade and, and locked down. We're doing that even more this year. So part of the things that we ask people to expect that is we are asking for either a no bag or clear bag policy. Mm -hmm. Um, so we will have lockers for folks to use if they happen to, and you know, end up with bags with them. Um, but you know, all do security reasons, and we ask everybody, you know, please be graceful with your uh, with your patience and understand that you know we have metal detectors this year, you know, and all those things just to be able to have the opportunity for folks to feel safe while having an incredible time. And trying to get down there, you know, a lot of roads will probably be blocked yes. off. So as far as like coming early or advising where to park or Ubering, what do you recommend? All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> You want folks, yeah, the earlier the better when it comes to parking, as I shared, largest event in Orlando, and yes. we know that, you know, our downtown, what it can, you know, the parking limitations sometimes, so definitely ride sharing is probably ideal if you can, um, but yes, definitely the earlier the better. The four o'clock parade, um, people start lining up like around mm -hmm. one or two. So if mm -hmm. you want a really good spot and mm -hmm. also too, we ask people to spread out. Mm -hmm. yeah. People love being um, in that stretch that's on central. It's yes. beautiful, the trees, <laughs> all of that, Publix, I mean, all those things. But at the same time, we tell people to spread out. There's plenty of room. We have over a mile. Um, so, you know, please find a new favorite spot if possible. So, so it's gonna wrap around Lake Eel. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and the, do you need cash for the vendors? We're like actually that? kind of hoping okay. to go more cashless this okay. year. Okay. So, great question. Um, again, one of those where we're like, oh, you know, get up with the time. So, mm -hmm. we, we are asking for clear bags and really hoping to go cashless. All right. And awesome. real quickly, you're heading to Mexico for something big after this. Yes, because October is nonstop. Right at the last week of Mexico, um, a group and I are actually headed to put in our bid for 
World Pride Orlando 2026. That so would be it awesome. never stops. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tatiana. Awesome. Hope we have a great Thank weekend you. Yes. here.